one cow I don't want to go. exactly as planned, but it worked. I wanted to get at least two cows and one calf, if I could. But the first cow to wander in, ironically enough, is the one that usually gives me the most trouble loading up. But she's oldest, and she kind of, I think she knows what's happening. It's that time of year where we send them out back. So she went back there to go get in, and a calf decided to follow her. Actually, one of her grandkids. So... I got her back there. She looked like she was stepping in, so I went ahead and pushed the calf in behind her, and all of a sudden she started backing up. So I pushed the calf out of the way so we didn't get squashed. And the two of us leaned up against the inside of the alleyway while the milkshake backed up beside us. Thankfully, neither of us got hurt. But that got me the calf in. Locked the calf in the front part of the trailer. Of course, then mom was easy to get once you get the calf. And I got London, too, who has not calved yet. So I got London, the black cow, Savannah, the mom, and hummus, the little brown calf. So we'll go up here and, uh, it's not really not that far, just down the driveway, the side road, I'm gonna show you here, go through this dead end and the gate's right up there. And I'll pull up there and we'll get them unloaded. Show the entrance to between my barns here. Put one between these two spots. Check the mirror for the trailer clearing the gate. And then the trailer clearing this feeder pin. Oh, four wheel drive a little slimy down here. Cows are sitting there actually wondering where we went and ready for some more. Now they want to go. I use this one here because it's a quick disconnect. Um, occasionally I've had cows try to go under, but when it's daylight, not so much. And then this chain over here, which locks the door shut. I use the weight of it and I hold that gate open. So the first cow comes in, then I can swing that over. Pull this open, swing the head gate open. 
tighten things up a little bit by putting that up there. And now we can see what we got for round two. Over here I put a quick release knot and then leave my string kind of out there where I can grab it in a hurry while I'm somewhat behind the cows. two large ones in the back but for a short distance it's better than squishing the calf and I don't think I'd be able to uh, get that gate open inside to push one of them forward without having to boot one of them out and then I'd never get them back in so we'll take them the way they are Always one troublemaker. It actually was going too easy. I figured something was going to happen there before long, but actually, still not a bad day. I've had much worse. Quasar, one year, I had so much trouble getting her up here, and I had a couple of steers I was leaving up front. 
does have a little bit of pasture up here that two or three animals can summer on. And so I ended up leaving her up here because she was such a bugger. She wasn't going to have a calf that year. I just made sure I left a bull up here with her. There we go. So, all in all, I'm not, not too bad. So I'm trying to just kind of show what I'm doing on the farm. Keeping my cows, interacting with my cows, keeping my cows healthy, keeping them fed. All right, girl, come on. Now you don't want to leave. Come on. Where are you going to go? That way? That works for me, too. There we go. And I'll let you get out. There we go. Run free! There they are. All set. The other girls are out there somewhere. We'll go out and find them here in just a second.